Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you Shopify order fulfillment process. Before we start, hurry up and check out our new software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you actually fulfill orders or what is the fulfillment process here in Shopify? Well, in this case, it's actually quite simple. So first things first, go to Shopify.com and you want to log in into your account. Now, at the left panel, we have the following options. We have home, orders, products, and customer. So uh, I am assuming that you're not or you're not new to Shopify here. So in this case, for you to show or to see all the orders that you have right now in your store, you need to go to orders. Now, in the order section, you should be able to see all the orders from your customers. So in this case, it will be in different statuses. So for example, we have the paid status yield. Here we have the payment pending as well. So in this case, if you also have like canceled orders, this is where they will also be uh, appearing. Now in this case, as you can see, we now have one order here that is unfulfilled. So in this case, like for example, if someone bought from your store and uh, in this case, the status is still unfulfilled. So what are the things that we could do here? So in this case, let's go open up this order first. Now, what we need to do is we need to first see what are the details that we could actually access within this page here. So in the main UI, we have the location or the shop location where the uh, user actually bought the product. They also chose what is the shipping method that is available right now on our store and the products that they bought. Now, in this case, just underneath this section, you have the payment section, which includes the payment that they did. So in this case, uh, there are some cases that people could actually pay for the product in a later date. So in this case, the current status of my payment here is payment pending. Now, before we could actually fill any items or any of the items here, we first need to make sure that the payment is actually, uh, for example, it's actually fulfilled or the payment has been given to us. So in, again, in some cases, the payment is not yet given out to us. So what you need to do is you first need to send an invoice. Invoice is a receipt or not exactly you see here, it's more of a uh, request to, hey, you need to pay this. So in this case, you can go and click on send invoice here. And from here, you need to indicate the two, which in this case, the email address of the customer, which typically is going to be at the right side here under contact information. So in this case, at the right side, you should be able to see their phone number, their contact or the email address, some notes from the customer if they added any, and their billing address. We also have the conversion summary here. So in this case, if there are any conversions in here. Now they also have fraud analysis here, but in this case, it's uh, actually a great thing that Shopify offers here and a comment section. So I'll be showing you later on what those actually do. But for now, let's go and click on send invoice. Now in this case, enter the email address of your customer. And in here, you also want to indicate the subject. So, so in this case, make sure to indicate the actual uh, product. So in this case, you could go ahead and enter whatever here, like for example, order um one two three if you want to if you want to add any uh specific subjects in here and if you want to add a custom message here like for example hey thank you for shopping with us uh, requesting payment for this product you could go ahead and indicate that but the template for the actual um email for this one it can be added uh, edited via the notification section so in this case i'm going to open this up in a new tab so that you'll have some idea if you want to edit it so in this case, you want to go to customer notification and from here, we want to actually uh, basically get the invoice here. So in this case, we have the order invoice. And from here, this is the uh, look or the current look of that specific invoice that we'll be sending later on. So if you want to edit this, you need to click on edit code here. And from here, it's going to be an HTML and uh, in format here. So if you want to edit it, you need to learn more or a bit of HTML if you want to start editing. But at the very bottom, you have the revert to default, just in case that you um, done something that actually um, uh, change anything or so something here that actually ruins the template itself. But going back, uh, I just need to indicate all the necessary details here or the bare minimum. 
and you could go and click on the review invoice so this is an example i'm going to enter this email here and from here let's go and click on review invoice you should be able to see the current format and you want if you want to go ahead and send this you go and click on send invoice now so you see, since we sent an invoice what we we could what we could do here is we could go ahead and scroll down and view a few things that happened on our orders like the timeline here as you can see the when the payment terms for, uh, for this order is, was created or when the confirmation for order is created and the order that this uh, or the date this order is cr was created so in this case uh you could go ahead and resend an invoice uh if necessary but the great thing here is they will send or they will actually save the uh email here so as long as there is some data here in the email section now in this case uh you could go and click on collect payment here like for example if they gave you the card for it so i doubt for that but if you do have access on it you can go and enter the card number the expiry date the cuv and name and card but you also need to indicate the uh, billing address here but if they or if you already have like a shipping address here it, that will be used instead so uh, in this case, you could also use the mark as paid. So if they've paid in a different method and you were able to confirm it, you could go and click on mark this as paid. So as an example, I'm going to mark this as paid. And as you can see, it is now paid. So since this is now paid, what we need to do now is we now need to fulfill this item. So just in case like something like, for example, the item or uh, for some certain, there's some uh, delay on the item itself. What you could do here is you could actually um, uh, do a few things like uh, leaving a comment here uh, just to keep track of things if you need to add some notes you can even duplicate the order to top right you can cancel the order you can archive and yeah so in this case in some cases if like for example if the product itself is no longer available and uh, this user already gave out their payment you could actually make a refund at the top right here so if you click on refund, that would actually initiate your refund and you can indicate how much of the item is going to be refunded and the amount that will be refunded here. So in this case, uh, it's going to be manual here, but it's going to be automatically the whole uh, amount here. And just to give you some idea, the refund method here is the original payment that they made will be the one they'll be refunded. So for example, you use their card, their card will be refunded for that specific price. But it might take a few days, especially if they use, like for example, if they're using Shopify payments, I think it will take a bit more time than usual. But yeah, you just need they just need to wait for a few days before they receive their refund. But we don't want to do that. Let's go click on leave page here. And yeah, so to fulfill this item, let's go ahead and click on fulfill item here. Now in this case, it's now going to ask us uh, how uh, how many of the items going to be fulfilled. So in this case, since we only have one item, how heavy it is. So the weight here depends on what weight you actually uh, added on the actual product page they have. Now in this case, you also have the notified customer of shipment. So you could go and click on send shipping details to your customer now. And in this case, uh, they need to indicate their ship uh, shipping address here as well. But in this case, you can go and click on print packing slip here so what you need to do is you need to print this packing slip and uh, basically add it in the actual box of the product that you'll be setting out but once you were able to uh, give this out or once you were able to ship this out you could go ahead and click on fulfill item here and that will actually fulfill the item as you can see it is now fulfilled but one more thing you need to do here is you also need to click on add tracking here add the tracking number and the shipping carrier here so they have a lot here. You can go ahead and click on any of the available uh, shipping carry here. And you can also add another tracking number just in case if you want to add, like for example, if you're uh, picking it into, or for example, you're adding or you're using two shipments for this product or this order, uh, you could go and add them as well. But yeah, so in this case, um, that's about it. So using the or basically the full process here is actually pretty easy as long as you know what to do. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.